All right, continuing on, uh, we've gone through the process of building a model, cleaning the data, uh, choosing the best features, and then choosing the best algorithm. But you may have noticed, if you click on these algorithms, any of them, any of them besides the linear regression, there are all these parameters here. Trainer mode, number of decision trees, maximum depth of the trees, resampling method. Now, this video is not the time to go through the details of what all these mean. It's very useful and, and helpful to have a, a good enough background in statistics and in these machine learning algorithms to understand these. However, one of the great things about having a, a tool like uh, Azure and, and AWS is that we can, mod we can uh, automate the process of selecting the best parameters. So let's say we don't know what they are. It'd be great if we could simply uh, try many different combinations of these parameters until we find the best one because by adjusting these we can affect the R squared and improve our, dis our uh, predictive accuracy. Well, it turns out they have a pill exactly for that. Tune model hyperparameters. Now this is a common task. It's not something unique to Azure, uh, but tuning the hyperparameters is just a way of doing exactly what I said, going through and trying a bunch of different uh, parameters. And this has several inputs. The first one is an untrained model, which means that our algorithm, that's our untrained model, is going to first go into tune model hyperparameters so that this pill can adjust all of these parameters right here. Uh, next one, uh, training data set. Where does this come from? Well, right here. This side is the training side of split data. That'll go into that middle one. And last one here, optional validation data set so that it can pick the best one. Perfect, we've got a validation data set right here. Um, you can have a validation data set that's separate from the test data set, um, not truly necessary in my opinion, uh, depending on the situation. So I'm just gonna use this test data set right here instead. Now the outputs, um, the sweep results, this just lets us see which the best set of, which per set of parameters was the best. But even better is this output right here, which allows us to take whatever the best trained model was and send it directly into where would it go? Not into train model because it's already been trained. It's going to go down here into score model. So this replaces our train model pill. Now, sometimes I might also keep the train model pill and I'll use this just so that I can evaluate and see which set of parameters are best. Um, and I might decide to keep a certain set of parameters, but this is kind of a cool feature. We're going to use it. So it has a problem. It says we're still looking for some information. Well, if this replaces train model, that means that this is the pill that needs to set the label. So click here on edit column. Uh, oh, it uh, somehow I lost my, I lose my data before. That shouldn't have happened. Let's see, the pills before it are run. Let's try this again. Now let's just type it in. Um, LN, or is it LN, lowercase n, charges. I think that's what it is. All right, let's save that. I'm going to right click here and preview this split data output result and just make sure I spelled that right so it doesn't break on me when I try and run it. LN charges lowercase n. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and run this. And, uh, oh, actually, no, before I run it, um, the parameters of this pill that I want to set, this says it'll try five different combinations of these decision forest parameters. All right, five is a good start. Um, just for time's sake, I won't change that, but I'll often change that up to like 20 or something like that. I'm going to adjust my random seed so you get the same results. Measurement for performance for classification. Now this is a bit different from the permutation feature importance pill, where we had to we had to specifically tell it whether we wanted a, a regression metric or a classification metric. In this case, it says, all right, we don't know whether this is regression or classification, so uh, just pick one for both. Um, Mean absolute error is a good one because we've normalized the data, or sorry, we did a math operation to uh, fix or resolve the skewness of charges. So I like MAE in that case as a good fit metric as an alternative to R squared or coefficient of determination. 
So I'll leave it right there. But we do need to reconnect permutation feature importance. It wanted a trained model. Where does that come from? We're going to grab the best trained model from the tune model hyperparameters. Okay, let's go ahead and let that run. Oh, looks like I, I think my, oh yeah, because I'm past six o'clock. That means my compute target just got shut off. If this, if this might happen to you occasionally too, um, let me save this. Uh, if like me, you set a time for it to be automatically stopped, then that may happen while you're in the middle of working. So in this case, since I've got to start it up again, I just want to make sure that when I'm done, I come back here and stop this so I'm not running up 30 cents per hour all night. So I'll start that and then I'll uh, pause it and go back and run it. Okay, now let's start it back up, back to the uh, designer pipeline I'm working on. I should probably name that something better. Yeah, let's do this. So that time I did that. Insurance charges modeling pipeline. That's better. Okay, now that we got uh, the compute target up and running, let's go ahead and submit this. All right, let's see what we, what we got here. Not bad. I think with this faster compute uh, target I'm using, this is things moving on a little quicker here. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the tune model hyperparameters and the sweep results first. So preview this data. I'm going to pull it out here. Give us a little more room. Uh, so here are the uh, the three uh, parameters that it adjusted: number of trees, sample leaves per node, maximum depth, and here are our, our, uh, our, our scores for each of our fit metrics. So best model was this first one here for coefficient of determination. This all also had, let's see, the lowest mean uh, or the closest to zero mean absolute error. I know that's relative absolute error. I'm looking for here, this one, lowest. And this seems to have the best fit metrics across all the different metrics. No, it actually, oh yeah, it does. 80%. So that's not a bad improvement. We were at 77.91% before we adjusted anything and we just squeeze out an extra 3% or so. So this is the, uh, yeah, the great value of the tune model hyperparameters pill.